Hello Aries, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly reading. Ooh. Somebody is trying to give somebody a present, but only if they sacrifice something. All right. Coming to do your weekly reading for the week of July 24th through the 20 do the 31st, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your first full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and listening to and scheduling personal readings. And if you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Uh, thank everybody, and make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. I don't know if I said that, but message came through. That's why I started tripping up, but it said something that somebody has been telling you over and over and over is getting ready ready to happen, okay? Oh, yeah, that was a serene. That's the somebody saying over and over, and it was with the rapid success. So somebody that somebody keeps... Okay, so it might have something to do with a kid or a pregnancy. So basically, be careful, Aries, because if you don't want it, run from it. All right, what's going on with the Aries? Aries, 7, 24th to 31st, 2017. Love reading, Aries, Aries, Aries. What's going on, Aries? Mm, third party <laughs> so Aries either you got a third party or your partner has a third party okay okay so this third party might be somebody you work with like if it's you uh, you know it might be your boss somebody is more powerful you in, than some way but this could be if it's your partner same thing it might be either a boss or somebody that they work with Okay, so this is like, I don't know, it's telling you maybe you shouldn't trust this person as your friend, you know. So it's basically saying don't tell them everything, you know, because even though it's a third party situation going on, if this is you, then you shouldn't still shouldn't tell them everything. But if this is against you, it's like, your partner might have a third party that they work with and I feel like maybe your friends know something about it. You know, they know something about it and they don't want to tell you. They're not really your friends. Or if you tell them, they're going to tell you you're something like that. All right, that goes to something being said over and over. So it might even be rumors about somebody telling you that you might have been hearing rumors that you know, your person is sleeping with their boss or messing with their boss. Yeah. Okay, so, I don't know, something, I guess when you hear this or when you see this, it's going to make you real angry. When, when you find out that they're messing with somebody else or when you find out that this person that you mess around with at your job, you know, is probably telling everybody negative stuff about you. It's going to piss you off. Like, they ain't your friend. Okay, so, I don't know. When this happened, I think, or you're already contemplating timing out. You're contemplating getting rid of this situation because it's, it's too much going on here. One more for the road. Oh, yeah, so be careful because you might end up getting pregnant by this person. Or maybe the rumors, there's rumors around work that you got them pregnant or they got you pregnant, you know? But you're get, thinking about leaving a situation because it's just anger. Yeah, this situation is done. Yeah, when I get two, that means it's over. So if it's not over yet, it's going to be over. Yeah, it's more stuff hidden too. So it's like, yep, yeah, somebody got an alternative motor. You know, I don't know how to say that word right now. I know how to say it, but just not right now. Oh, I feel so bad. Because this means, like, somebody is getting ready to make a blind choice. Actually, they already made their choice. And it's 
they're choosing to rebuild something that was broke down. So if you're with this person first, that's who's going to be picked, you know? Yeah, I feel like they're going back to the first person. So if you somebody broke up with somebody to be with you, they're leaving you back to try to go fix that up. All right, Aries, 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 7, 24 through 31st, 2017. Aries, what's going on with Aries, 7, 24 through 31st, 2017. All right. Yeah, but be beware, Aries, male and female, you are very fertile right now. All right, so somebody's been wishing, wishing on a star. Ooh, heartache. Mm. All right, I feel like we need one more. Oh, there it is. Oop, there it is. So, I don't know. Just because it's two fives, I think whatever, whatever, if it didn't happen, it's going to happen by the 5th of next month. But let's read these cards already. All right. Aries. What's going on with Aries? Aries, Aries, Aries. So we got the star card. A great time for hope for the future and reflection of achievements. A time to look at your life for great hope for the future. Good things are on their way. A wonderful card. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, it is. But first, there's sorrow. All right, let's go to the Five of Cups. It says... A loss of some kind is indicated. The realization that something which was believed in is not true. Tendencies of drug and alcohol use. So this could have happened in the past to you or your partner. That, you know, you found out that something, somebody didn't want you like they said they wanted you. Or somebody wasn't just wasn't as real as you thought they was. And then they, you know, I don't know. You just got the reality check and it hurt your feelings. You know? All right, so we got the judgment card. And it says... Do, 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 do. All right, there it is. It says, a time to pay for what has been done. A time to begin again, fresh and new. The price has been paid, now begin again. Can indicate legal matters ending successfully. So... This basically is saying like all this crap that you went through in the past, um, it's gonna be better. So like it don't matter what your ex or what your boss that you messing with is gonna throw you under the rug. It's like there's something out there better. I feel like it's just a lesson for you to learn for your next step. That's what I feel like because you got all these good cards surrounded with all these bad cards basically telling you like don't let this keep you down you know just look forward you know good things are coming all right so we got the five of swords you just gotta get out of that that box like go do something different all right it may be time to limit your losses by letting go do not let negative input of others influence your decision do not continue to fight when the war is over uh move away from this situation I'm feeling like it just came to me. For some of you, it's just like leave your current person for your um, boss completely. Because I feel like maybe it's telling you to leave that person. It's basically saying the first person you was with, you need to leave the, that person completely. And then I feel like it's telling you to give the boss a little chance. And, you know, if they deserve it, you know, stay around. But if they don't, leave. Because it's like, I feel like it's only going to get better from here. But it's going to stay in a bad situation as long as you hold it there. You know, we keep holding on to relationships that's gone. We got to cut it out. All right. So, Knight of Swords is last. Knight of Swords. Sword, 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 sword. All right. And it's upside down. A lack of strategy, confidence, and self-imposed false sense of security. So you think that this person is good and they're going to be right for you. But in reality, this person, the first person that you was with, is no good. 
You know, you try to stand there thinking that it's going to make it better, but it's not. So it's basically like move on and be happy. That's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Other than that, have a great week.